Hi, welcome to Home Cooking with Dev. Uh, today I'm going to make peas dal and rice. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do my peas dal. First, when I have my oil heating in the pot there, I'm going to add my curry powder. And I add a little bit of my saffron powder, not much, probably about a half of a teaspoon. I add some jeera powder or cumin powder. And I let that fry up a little bit. Then I, I cut up one pimento, a medium pimento, a medium sized pimento, about quarter of an, a small onion and just one shadow leaf because um, it's just a small amount I'm cooking. I'm going to add that to the curry that's being fried. Turn that up. Right, so my onion, um, pimento, and um, chardonnay is um, fried up there. I'm going to add a little water just to continue to cook the curry. So again, I like using the Aptis curry blend. It has everything in it. Um, it has coriander, turmeric powder, mustard seed, cumin or jeera, black masala, and other spices. It has everything in it. This is what I believe in. So to my mix, to my fried up curry now, I open the tin. Of, um, I open the tin of green pigeon peas. And I'm going to add some of the pigeon peas. I'm not adding all because like I said, it's just a little bit I'm cooking today. So you say about one pot spoon or maybe a half a cup of green pigeon peas. I'm turning that up. Let that cook for a little bit. So that's frying up nicely in there. I'm going to add some water and I'm going to uh, a little bit of salt, cover it and leave that to cook. Now bear in mind the pigeon piece is cooked already so we don't need to cook it much longer. I am cooking it because um, I want the curry to cook up nicely. Again if anybody has any tips or ideas for me please feel free to continue to send them. So the pea style is finished. Uh, Vendev will give you um, the judgment um, of taste um, when he has lunch. Hi guys, I decided to do some penne pasta as well. I don't eat the pea style. Um, so I did penne pasta and I'm going to do my own pasta sauce. So let's look at what I'm doing here. So, to my heated pot, I'm adding some, a liberal amount of ketchup. I would say it's probably about a cup of ketchup. And to that, I'm going to add my seasonings. chef told me um, is if you reserve some of the pasta water and you add it to your um, mixture here it gives it a nice flavor so I am doing that so I, I kept back some water from my pasta and I've added that and I'm going to just keep stirring this for a while 
so my pasta sauce is finished i actually i added some um dried parsley flakes as well as some um, pepper flakes to it so i did a taste test it's good it's good it's really good so folks we had some mangoes we found some we got some mangoes from our mango tree um this on the outside it looked green but when we peeled it it was like this it was ripe usually when you're making mango chow you want a half ripe mango but i decided to go with this anyway use the ripe mango and um, make out the chow so in this i've cut up about uh, eight large grains of garlic about a half of a huge pepper and about 12 shadowbenny leaves somehow or the other i think i need more shadowbenny leaves but we'll go with that so we're going to add that to the mango. I'm going to add salt and black pepper. So <clears throat> a little secret ingredient that a cousin um, shared with me is you add a little smidgen of ketchup i know a lot of people would want to know what's going on here this is crazy but believe me it makes a difference so you can add a little ketchup so i'm going to mix everything up now we added salt black pepper hot pepper garlic charbenny and a little bit of ketchup so see what it's going to taste like so here we have my taste tester for the chow very nice yeah is it missing anything any salt pepper it has enough pepper no it's a good brand of, of sweet from the mango and uh -huh. um i like the kind of pepper from the chow from the pepper yeah okay so it's good yeah i like it okay 